surprised little Dixie has been hanging out over on that thing right there. Now he's up here. Usually he's roaming around. He's been hanging close by. But you don't want to go inside. And here's his daddy Boots. Boots isn't chasing after him anymore. That's amazing. You two getting along now? You were chasing after him, you big guy. This is competition, huh? What are you doing, huh? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? There's something over there? You want to go inside, little fella? Hmm? Yeah. What do we got here? You want to go inside? Come here, Snooky. Come on. There's your brother. <laughs> That's your big brother. Yeah, he went inside. Look at that. He went inside. Come on. He's staying there now. <laughs> He's a tame guy. He just you could pick him up, but somehow he doesn't he just he feels safer outside. I'm like, I don't know why. Weirdo. That's Dixie. He went inside. He's probably right by the door. Now here's uh Onyx and I got Doc Willard water in there. It's got Dr. Willard catalyzed water in there. This guy, he's got dry food right now, me, I'll mix, but I've been giving him uh you know the carbon C60 and uh Sometimes the, the, the cancer support stuff, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know how old he is. He, he might be my oldest cat right now. He's still got his eye problem, but he's got one good eye. I guess it's slowing you down from fighting. That's good. One thing that helps you out with. <laughs> he seems to be slowing down a little bit. Right? So, yeah, we missed a little gold digger, but... She's up there by the menorah, up on a shelf. She's got a place of honor. That's more than most cats get for sure. <laughs> She's a people. That's what I looked at her as, right? Yeah. Right, Bootsy? Keeping your feet nice and white, huh? <laughs> That's why we call you Boots. You got four white paws. Huh? Look like little boots. Yeah. Huh? You're a freaking good guy, man. You know that? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You cutie pie. A little marble cake with four white feet. Huh? Real powerhouse, too. You're leaving your little boy alone, huh, Dixie? You're not chasing after him anymore? I don't know. We'll see if nutrition and carbon C60 can finally restore his eye vision. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but who knows? Who knows? That carbon C60, some of it, I've been now I've been realizing, boy, that was the real, you know, it, after a while, I'll tell you the truth, with the little Miss Tiffany Goldigger, a carbon C60 alone wasn't doing a trick. If I would have kept up the carbon C60 and the colostrum and the cat vitamins and a few other things, could have extended or more before it would have, would have staved off the cancer problem. Because basically that's a metabolic disease. You know, in some ways, the cells don't work correctly after a while. They kind of ferment versus breathe oxygen like the way it should be kind of feed on themselves that's really what cancer is in a lot of ways so I don't know what caught it one week earlier but I was distracted by demonetization that's what happened got demonetized on April 6th the first sign I saw of of, of uh, gold digger Tiffany gold digger the cat having any kind of problem issue was April 3rd on, I mean, August 6th. August 6th was demonetized. August 3rd. So when I first saw it, that was at night, around 12 o'clock at night. Um, but, you know, that one extra week could have done a job. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. Right, fella? You feeling good? Huh? <laughs> so... Let's see where Dixie is. He's probably right inside the door. Right outside. Hey, chicken. Hey, you don't like being inside. Big girl cat. Feather. Feather, you're the only girl here right now. We got six boys and one girl, right? Here's Putin. Yeah, hi, fella. <laughs> it's the cat family. That's, uh, I don't know which one is which. That's, that's, that's the son, Onyx, up there. And there's uh, Feather Mama down here. And there's little Dixie. Little Dixie looks like his daddy boots. So, that's a boy. That's the other boy. Oh, that's the, wait a minute, that's the other boy. That's Mama. There's a third boy. So he got stolen, I think. 
because he looks like a tuxedo. That's Mr. Paws. He's probably out there someplace. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, onward and forward. More stuff to do. See, my air compressor is out. That means I was working on something again. Well, Putin the cat's getting the anti-cancerous food that I gave to Miss Tiffany Goldair. The Spark Herbal. Carbon C60. Kitten Meow Meow food. Plus um, cat vitamins. So, he's seven and a half now. I don't think he's in danger of getting cancer, but he's, he's been getting good stuff all along. Boy, if I would have had Tiffany Goldigger, I don't know how old she was. I don't know how old Tiffany Goldigger was. She could have been 18 or 18 years or more. I don't know. Yeah, she could have been really up there. I really don't know. But, um, I guess, well, it's hard to say. How long could you make a cat live? Well, if they, they're starting to get up to about 18 to 20 years old now. Um, and, you know, with the rat study, they gave just the carbon C60, not even including, like, vitamins and stuff. They got 93% longer. I mean, that means a cat should live at least 30 years now. It would, you know, with the right stuff, with the carbon C60. So, I was hoping that with her, but she's still here. We got her up there on the shelf. She's up there with her memorial. Little Rocky, you were always looking. He, he probably, he actually looked at me one time and said, made a noise just like her. And he was looking at me, I think, and uh, he was asking about her. That was before. Here is Precious Cat Angel. Precious Kitty, Tiffany Goldigger, a Butter Menorah. She's got a place of honor. And you're always in my heart and you're immortalized on YouTube. We got a whole playlist on you. I'm still working on your playlist, but we also have your cat cancer playlist up. Oh, uh, that has a lot of videos too. I think it's like 50 videos. Boy. And I and that was like the light bulb went out. Oh, she's not three years old. Oh god. How did I not freaking figure that out? Boy, but I did a lot for you, boo, boo anyway. I'm still kind of kicking myself. I didn't do more, but I didn't know you were up there in age till after you got the cancer. But, uh, and I think I almost saved you. I think I got rid of the cancer, to tell you the truth. Just that you were having system breakdowns from damage from the cancer. But, you know, you are still in a place of honor, and I know... You're up there in cat heaven. Really, I think you really are. I think you're in cat heaven. 